Hello, I'm David Sturgis. Thank you for joining us with Hope with Answers. I'm here with Dr. David Carbone. May I call you David? Absolutely. Uh, do, uh, David, I'd like to talk to you today about the benefits of an early diagnosis for lung cancer. If you could d walk through some of the, the, the initial steps. Well, it's very beneficial to detect lung cancer early because that ha gives the patient the opportunity for a complete surgical resection, which is still the best hope for a complete cure for, for lung cancer or for d intense radiation called stereotactic radiation, which also can be curative. Once the cancer spreads outside the spot, the original spot in the lung, it becomes more, much more difficult to cure, sometimes not possible to cure. So detecting it when it's surgically removable is extremely important. And recently, the uh, use of low-dose spiral CT scanning has been applied to detecting lung cancer early and is now approved for use in patients that have risk factors over a certain age, or particularly uh, more smoking history and uh, who have quit less than 15 years ago. And those people are eligible for the screening CTs. And uh, beside this relatively narrow group of people, is there screening available for other people? The, I think the group you spoke with is generally an older group starting at the age of 50. They've smoked a certain amount of uh, cigarettes uh, in the past or currently. Is there any other screening that if I think I'm at risk for lung cancer that I can uh, have done? In that high-risk group of patients, actually about 1 or 2 percent of those patients will have lung cancer in their initial screen. And the chances of picking up lung cancer in serial screening is very high. But of course, many patients get lung cancer who don't fit into that narrow category of, of patients. One group that, that's very important to recognize is people who've been cured of one lung cancer should have CT screening regardless of the other risk factors. If you've been cured of one lung cancer, your risk of getting a second lung cancer is very high. The other group that, of patients that are concerned in, about developing lung cancer are those where a family member or relative has developed lung cancer. But Lung cancer is so common that often the risk of re in relatives is not much higher than uh, in the general population. And so right now, those patients are not approved for CT screening. Regardless, often patients will get a cardiac screen or some other scan for some other reason. And if, if an abnormality is found, then that needs to be followed uh, with CT scans. Um, are x-rays used at all anymore as part of a, as part of the screening process and as part of the diagnostic process? Sometimes x-rays can pick up lung nodules or lung cancers, mm -hmm. and, but it's been very clearly shown that x-rays alone are not very, not effective at improving survival in lung cancer. With an annual low-dose CT scan, the risk of getting of dying from lung cancer is reduced by 20%, which is a huge reduction. And in fact, getting those scans reduces all mortality or death from any cause because it can detect other things as well. So in the high risk population, it's particularly uh, important. But doing chest x-rays is probably not a useful way of screening of early detection of lung cancer. And I think you would agree then that it's important for anybody that feels they might be at a risk for lung cancer, having been a smoker, having been exposed to radon, or some other environmental risk, should talk about, with their physician on a regular basis about whether screening is something they should be considering. Uh, unfortunately, radon exposure is not part of the criteria right now, but that's probably responsible for more cases of lung cancer in this country than secondhand smoke, for example, which is also not a criterion for CT screening. Okay. But I think uh, in the future, as, as CT scans become uh, more sensitive and lower dose, 
it's certainly possible we could develop screening technologies for uh, these categories of people as well. Thank you very much for joining us today. This has been very helpful. You're welcome. And I think and hope it will be helpful to everybody else too.